Nicaragua remains so, the second poorest country in Latin America after Haiti. Two years ago, during our trip throughout the Caribbean, we traveled to Nicaragua. We had the unique opportunity to fish with the locals, clean up some beaches, and even visit some local schools. But we couldn't help but notice the incessant poverty and living conditions in the country. So last month, we were able to get 35 viewers of our videos from around the world to come out to Nicaragua and help us give back. This is the story of how we built seven homes in 48 hours and then went on the most epic adventure. 5 or 5 a.m. We're supposed to be down there five minutes ago. But we're gonna be headed out three and a half hours into the jungle to reach this local community that we'll be building seven houses for today and tomorrow. There we're gonna be spending the night at the school in the community. It's gonna be a rough sleeping condition tonight, but it'll definitely be worth it. Thomas, do you wanna say something? Because your back was turned by the time. It's pretty early, I'm not necessarily a morning person, so. throughout Latin America, where we work hand in hand with the community to create awareness about the issues about poverty throughout the region. Do this. Yeah. Gracias. <laughs> Wait, what are those things? We don't really know. I'll be honest. They're very pretty, but we have no idea what they're for. building site, we met the family that we'll be building the house for. These are the kids, the mom is right there. We'll be building this house, replacing this tin house, which they will later on use as a kitchen. But this is where they will be living. And she has six kids, and they all live in here. I'm stoked that we're getting to build like a bigger space for them. And we're really blessed right now. <laughs> Coming right at the right time, showing some wood. We're gonna cut these stubs off. And it's uh, a lot harder than it looks, all right? A little painful, but and I'm not too sure what we're doing with this. We're giving pieces of instructions as we move along, and then we'll figure out how it all come together bit by bit. Feels good. Such a strenuous process. It's crazy how many like moving pieces go into it. And uh, so the first day is literally just putting down the foundation. That's it. Just a foundation, just the floor. And then second day, the walls and the ceiling come up. If there's like, it's down like even like a centimeter, they have to redo yeah, the entire yeah. thing because the floor will be lopsided. Full day of work, just going hard at it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> no, I worked for like a few minutes and I got blisters. <laughs> Please don't make fun of me. <laughs> ¿Y hace cuánto tiempo que vives aquí? Eh, vine en el, este febrero, septiembre del 2008. 2008, it just comes through all, like, it just floods her floor and goes through, like, all the windows and stuff. Which is why Techo builds the houses above the ground so that the water doesn't come in. She says it gets very cold, too. How tired are you guys? Pretty tired. We can understand how people can uh, die from heat exhaustion. So if this is it. It's been a pleasure. We're gonna finish the house today, it's totally fine, guys. Oh my god, front door! Wait, wait, wait! 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 Wait, wait, On our way to Burning Man, it's gonna be sick. Yeah, man. I just popped some acid. Let's do this. Whoa. Oh, that's your leg. Sorry, bro. Sorry. <laughs> How is it to wake up with uh, salsa at 7 in the morning? Feels like this. I guess that's how they roll. So. It's 6.23 a.m. Uh, everybody is exhausted. Half the people didn't sleep, but we're gonna go finish these homes today. Alright, let's get the day started. Hey. The man, the myth, the machine, the legendary builder with his strong arms. What are those? Funny. A joke hasn't been made on social media like 
13,000 times. Oh, 7 a.m. I'm getting my massage from Victor. Oh, it is brutal. Yeah. Oh, I slept on the floor the whole night, so my back like is the, absolutely wrecked. But that's it's like it's uh, fine. Ready to go, Bill? Oh, everybody is half tired, half very energetic. <laughs> I'm lying in dirt, trying to nail something, with no space to move my arm. <laughs> Two thousand years later. I finally got my first nail in. No way. After three attempts, look. Here you going. That was the fastest I've ever seen anything happen. These guys are machines. And I thought I finished fast. <laughs> <laughs> Nailing in the roof right now. The roof apparently is a tedious process, it's gonna take about an hour, an hour and a half, and after that we're done. You're up. Okay, so this is kind of a crazy moment just as it's starting to rain. Like finishing up literally the last little piece right there. Last one, baby, last one. What's going on? We're putting the door to the freaking house. And then we're finished. Really? Yes. Good oh job. my god. We didn't think we'd actually make it. Lauren was freaking out. Everybody was freaking out, but we actually pulled it together, which is crazy. <laughs> what are these boys doing? They're fighting. The pigs are fighting. What? The pigs are fighting? Don't we have a house to build or something? <laughs> there it is. We did it, we did it. Finita. Not only is this gonna bring her family and everybody close together, but it's brought all of us together. So thank you. Que lo han hecho con mucha voluntad, con mucho amor, con mucha dedicación. I just want to say thank you as well. It was amazing and an honor to, to, to help you guys a little bit with this. And you three are like animals. You're so yeah. It was. <laughs> you know. Esto es muy especial para mí. Yo siento que sí va a ser una realidad. Va a ser el principio del inicio de, del cambio de vida. This guy's vegan. And your blood is in the water as you go straight through my heart. Through my heart. days in Nicaragua, heading to Colombia right now. If you ever, ever come to Nicaragua, you gotta look up this spot, Monty's Beach Lodge here. One of the most incredible like, beach spots that we've ever been in. Bye guys! Bye! We had an absolute blast in Nicaragua, and we left feeling closer to not only the viewers we brought along, but also the people we were fortunate enough to help. If you want to help Nicaragua, feel free to donate to Techo. I'll leave the link in the description. An amazing organization building houses all around the world with the youth. Since they have building projects all the time, they're always in need of new supplies. We left Nicaragua ready for our next destination, Colombia, where I don't think we were expecting what we were about to see. Well, they used to kill the people. They would kill the people in here? So we kill the people. And at this point, you can probably expect it. We were, of course, not prepared for our new adventure. What's happening? They tell me I need a visa before I go to Colombia and on the internet said that I don't. So good meeting you, man. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so f***ing excited. I can't wait. Us four have been waiting to travel together for so long. Amar, what do you think? 
<laughs> oh, classic Habibi. See you next Sunday for the first episode of Columbia, and on Tuesday for the next episode of The House Show.